welcome to the Hacienda. Rivet here. Today we're making something fantastic from the Basque region of southern France. Uh, the Basque region straddles uh, the Pyrenees uh, in southern France and northern Spain. Uh, this particular recipe comes from the French Basque region and it's called El Zacaria. Uh, Mrs. Rivet gave me this fantastic cookbook uh, with Elizabeth David's uh, recipes in there for Christmas. It actually has three of her most famous cookbooks in one tome, Mediterranean food, French country cooking, and summer cooking. Uh, this particular recipe for the uh, peasant soup comes from the French country cooking volume, which is in the, in the center of that book. Uh, you can see the simplicity here, uh, fresh ingredients all the way around. and. Uh, Stick with me and I'll show you how it's done. Alright, one of the reasons, well, okay, I'll admit it, the reason I chose that particular recipe to cook first was it because uh, it calls for goose fat. Now, some of you may know that the uh, tradition here at the Hacienda is every Christmas we have a roast goose. And that uh, wonderful roast goose uh, yields this beautiful snow white goose fat. Okay? Delicious stuff. People pay good money. Uh, for goose fat, and if you don't believe me, go on to Amazon.com and price uh, goose fat in a jar. Uh, you'll see what I mean. Now, uh, look in the cards above here to the uh, right, and I'm going to put a link to a recipe um, uh, last year where Wendy uh, made a roast goose. I'll show you how to do it, as well as another link to my goose fat fries. And uh, goose fat and potatoes are a match made in heaven. Once we've got the goose fat melted in the enamel Dutch oven, uh, we're going to take one thinly sliced onion and saute it. Okay, we've been sauteing the onions for about 15-20 minutes and they're starting to get caramelized. I don't know if you can see the, the brown in there, but they do look pretty and smell awesome. Now we've got two um, cloves of garlic that we've just smashed and peeled. And we're going to saute them in there for a minute or two more. Okay, the hard part's over. Now this is optional. Two cups of uh, homemade chicken stock, unsalted and defatted. Okay. And two cups of water. So now what we've got here is about half a small cabbage, uh, sliced thinly. Okay, into strips. And one pound of green beans, fresh. And we'll give all that a stir in. Oh, before we do, uh, we're going to add a teaspoon of uh, coarse ground black pepper. Okay, I like that. And we're going to use this sea salt, Idle. Uh, it's from Greece, but uh, it's a very good product. And uh, sea salt is probably what Basques used. And we're going to throw in a couple pinches there, about the equivalent of another uh, generous teaspoon. All right, now we'll stir that in. We're going to add enough water uh, to cover. Oh, that's about right. We're going to bring this up to a boil. We're going to reduce it down to simmer, cover it, and we're going to simmer it for about an hour, hour and a half, and then we'll taste it for flavorings, and uh, that's it, folks. Meet me Alrighty, then. an hour and a half uh, simmering. The soup is ready and it smells delightful. Now, um, as is traditional in Basque Country, uh, there's a few drops of um, vinegar put at the bottom of the bowl before serving. So I'm going to put a good teaspoon in there. That's about right. I like apple cider vinegar. I hope you can see that properly. That steaming, delicious goodness. Oh, it's so pretty. Let's set that off to the side. Let's zoom in on that a little bit. I tell you, it smells very, very nice, people. Real mm. nice. I'm going to try a little bit of the liquid first. Hope I don't burn myself. Oh, mmm. Okay, I see the trick about the vinegar. Oh, yeah. Definitely needed. Very nice. The broth is very light and mild. Um, very, very nice. Certainly heartwarming. Needs a chunk of good crusty bread. And you're good to go. Green bean. Not overcooked. Let's try some cabbage. Yeah, um... That trick, cook the onions until they're starting to caramelize. I can uh, taste that sweetness underlying there, the, the caramelization. Very, very good soup. Oh, I got a piece of cat, um, garlic here. Uh -huh. I'm going to eat that one. 
Yum. Delicious soup, people. Very frugal. Very nutritious. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great New Year.